Before we begin, please take a moment to say hi, hello, or present. It's sort of like a roll call in the class. That way I know you're present and you're interested in this type of content in the comments below. Thank you so much and let's get back to the video. Are you preparing for an interview and looking for tips on how to ace those actor directory questions? Look no further. We've got you covered with our top 20 actor directory interview questions and answers. Question number one. What is Active Directory? Active Directory is a directory service developed by Microsoft that provides centralized authentication and authorization for Windows-based computers. Question number two. What is a domain controller? A domain controller is a server that manages network security and authentication, as well as controls access to the network resources. All right, before I go to number three, let me just say this is not a robot voice. I'm actually reading this. The reason I'm saying this is because on my past videos, I've been accused of using a robot voice, which is not a robot voice. It's my real voice. All right, let's, let's have some fun with this. Number three, what is a forest? A forest is a collection of one or more actor directory domains that share a common schema configuration and global catalog. Number four, what is a site? A site is a collection of IP subnets that are connected by a high-speed link, such as a local area network, also known as LAN. By the way, if you'd like to see a written version of this, I have it on my website, kobuman.com. I will post a link right now that will come up on the right hand side corner and also in the description and on the first comment. Number five, what is a domain? A domain is a logical grouping of network objects including users, computers, and resources that share a common namespace. Number six, what is a trust? A trust is a relationship that allows users from one domain to access resources in another domain. Number seven, what is replication? Replication is the process of copying actor directory data between domain controllers to ensure that changes made in one location are propagated throughout the network. Number eight, what is the global catalog? The global catalog is a distribution data repository that contains a searchable read-only copy of all objects in a forest. Number nine, what is LDAP? LDAP stands for Lightweight Directory Access Protocol, is a protocol used for accessing and modifying directory services such as Active Directory. Number 10, what is a group policy? Group policy is a feature of Active Directory that allows administrators to define and enforce settings for users and computers in the network. Number 11, what is Kerberos? Kerberos is a network authentication protocol that is used to authenticate users and services. Number 12, what is DNS? DNS stands for Domain Name System, and it's a hierarchical naming system used for translating domain names into IP addresses. Number 13. What is the difference between a user account and a computer account? A user account is used to authenticate a user and manage their access to the resources on the network, while a, a computer account is used to authenticate a computer and manage its access to the network resources. Number 14. What is an OU? An OU stands for Organizational Unit, is a container object 
in Active Directory used to group users, computers, and other objects for easier management. Number 15. How can you prevent a user from logging in? You can prevent a user from logging in by disabling their user account or by removing their access to log on locally or remotely. Number 16. How can you reset a user's password? You can reset a user's password by using the Active Directory Users and Computers console, the command line, or PowerShell. Number 17. What is a service account? A service account is a special type of account used to run a service or application on a computer such as a web server or database. Number 18. What is a GPO? A GPO stands for Group Policy Object, is a collection of settings that define how a group of users or computers behave on a network. Number 19. What is a delegation? Delegation is the process of assigning administrative tasks and permissions to users or groups in Active Directory. Number 20. What is the best way to monitor Active Directory? The best way to monitor Active Directory is to use monitoring tools such as Microsoft System Center Operations Manager, also known as SCOM, or some third-party software. And there you have it. With these top 20 directory interview questions and answers, you are sure to impress your interviewer and land that job. Don't forget to have fun and show off your knowledge with a little flair. All right, so this is the end of the video. If some of you are still confused or confused to begin with, that's okay. I've got you covered. I'm not going to let you down without understanding what you've just watched. Because after all, some of these seem like textbook answers. And that's okay. I understand. If you need somebody to explain to you what majority of these things are and show you how Active Directory works, functions, and how you can use it in your daily work, I have a full course video that will teach you all of these things so that way you are ready for this interview. The last thing I would want for you is to fail the interview because you didn't understand some of the concepts that are behind Active Directory. In a nutshell, it's all actually very simple, it's just being able to explain it in an easy way so that anybody can understand that can be sometimes difficult. But don't worry, I can, and this is why I'm telling you, you can watch my free video that's going to come up right now. You see the box that's showing right now? Just click on the box and you can watch the full video. I wish you best of luck, take care, and have a good day. Bye-bye.